What the torso and hips do in skiing can help or hinder our efforts to tip and balance. Correct counterbalancing and counteracting require hip flexibility and movement awareness that can be challenging to develop. The hipometer is one of the best ways to learn what your hips are doing and make them move to your advantage on the slopes. Adjust and tighten the poles across your hips by twisting the straps. Place the poles across your pelvis. Hold your hands and arms out to the side. You're going to try to keep the poles moving in the same direction on the same plane as the arms and shoulders. Tip the feet uphill on the slant board. As we did in segment four, the body leans or tilts opposite the feet to maintain the balance. We call this counterbalancing. Counterbalancing is strongest if our hips angle or move with our torso. Just as the free side shoulder is higher than the stance side shoulder, see if you can lift the free side hip to be higher than the stance side hip. Coordinate the hip tilt with foot tipping. Tip to the little toe edge and lift the same side hip. Once you can coordinate the hips with tipping uphill, it's time to change edges. Tip the foot downhill, raise the hip and shoulder on the little toe side, lower the hip and shoulder on the big toe side. Use your ski poles as shown here to access what your hips are doing. Your poles will give you a much better idea of what you are doing with your hips than the normal sensory feedback. Watching yourself in a mirror to adjust your movements as you perform them will produce the fastest learning. You can set up your own video and record yourself, but it's not as good as a live mirror.